Special Mass scheduled for later today at the Cathedral of Saints Peter and Paul in Providence as the transition begins between one bishop to another. And we want to let you know we'll be streaming that Mass live on our website, WPRI.com, at 2 o'clock this afternoon. But right now, Erica Ritchie is joining us now with uh, more on what this day is going to mean. I guess this is just a day of transition all around, guys, isn't it? Well, this is a big day for the Catholic Church. A representative from the Vatican will be in Providence at this afternoon's special mass, and he'll offer an official decree from the Pope designating Bishop Richard Henning as the coadjutor bishop of Providence. Now, the 58-year-old bishop from the Diocese of Rockville, Central New York, will take over completely when the Vatican accepts the resignation of current Bishop Thomas Tobin when he turns 75 in April. But today, Bishop Henning begins learning the ropes of Rhode Island, if you will. He's already celebrated Mass alongside Bishop Tobin, and that will happen again this afternoon at the special Mass, and then it'll continue throughout this transitionary period. I'm going to take a page from Pope Francis's call to be a listening church, and I, I certainly hope to learn uh, more, uh, not only about this state, but really the stories of its people. And Bishop Thomas Tobin has told 12 News that he does expect this will be a smooth transition. He's indicated he's ready to resign, even though he has to, because the, Vat the Vatican's mandatory retirement age is 75. And he does say there's one aspect of retirement he's particularly looking forward to. I thought it was kind of an interesting aspect. You might find that the same. We'll see you right back here at 630 with more on that. For now, live in studio, Erica Ritchie, 12 News. After 17 years as the leader of the Catholic Church in Rhode Island, Bishop Thomas Tobin will begin to transition to his predecessor this afternoon at a special mass in the capital city. Erica Ritchie joining us live in studio with those details. Well, Danielle, good morning. Bishop Thomas Tobin had to submit his resignation because he turned 75 in April, and that's the Vatican's mandatory retirement age. But the bishop indicated to us that it might have been time for a change anyway at this stage of his life, especially as technology continues to evolve. When I'm unplugged, when I'm uh, retired, my actually my intention at this point is to unplug completely and not to be involved in Twitter at all. I think I've heard that before. Yeah, <laughs> <don't know>. <laughs> yeah <laughs> but I wasn't retired then. All right, something we'll have to keep an eye out on. That was Bishop Thomas Tobin on Newsmakers right before Christmas. Of course, the Providence Bishop taking a lot of heat during his 17 years leading the diocese for some of the comments he put out on Twitter. And as he looks back over his time at the helm, he does admit that at times he could have used a little bit more discernment in his tweets. But he also recognizes that taking a stand can sometimes be polarizing. A bishop who doesn't have some enemies probably hasn't done his job very well. Because if you're preaching the truth, if you're teaching the, the faith of the church. There are going to be a lot of people who don't like that. And we'll see how incoming Bishop Richard Henning handles the heat. His transition begins today at that special mass you mentioned, Danielle. It's at the Cathedral of Saints Peter and Paul in Providence. We'll be carrying it live on our website starting at 2 o'clock this afternoon. You know where to find it, WPRI.com. For now, live in studio, Erica Ritchie, 12 News.